Hi, my name is Stuart Robinson and I'm one of the Tutorial Fellows in Earth Sciences at St Anne's College and an Associate Professor in the Department of Earth Sciences. And what I'd like to do today is talk to you a little bit about fieldwork as part of the undergraduate degree in Oxford. Fieldwork for many people is one of the reasons they become interested in studying Earth Sciences in the first place, but for many people it's not something they've got much experience of, so it can seem a little bit daunting, perhaps a little bit in intimidating. What I want to do in the course of this presentation is show you some examples of, of the kinds of field work we do as part of the undergraduate degree, why we do these field trips, and also to explain to you how we support students in their field work. So why do earth scientists need to do field work? Well, fundamentally, the earth is very, very large, and there are many structures and processes occurring on earth that are just too large for us to observe in the laboratory. They're too big for us to reproduce in the laboratory. So the only way to understand these processes is to go out in the field and make observations of the natural world. So doing field work can serve a number of purposes. We can go out and collect samples that we bring back and then study in the laboratory. We can go and deploy instruments that make real-time measurements of the evolution of things like volcanoes or ocean circulation. Field work allows us to make observations across a range of scales, from kilometres down to millimetres and actually to con contextualise those small-scale observations into big-scale processes and features. Fieldwork in Earth Sciences is incredibly diverse these days. It's not all about looking at rocks. Earth scientists can be found in the polar oceans, monitoring how sea ice and biology is changing in the oceans in response to a warming climate. They can be found up volcanoes, deploying sophisticated geochemical and geophysical equipment that allows us to monitor the behaviour of volcanoes in real time. They can be found in the aftermath of major earthquakes, trying to look for evidence of the earthquake so that we can understand the hazards and the risks of future earthquakes. They can also be found at sea, taking samples from the deep ocean. And Earth Sciences fieldwork is not just constrained to this planet now. Earth scientists are making the decisions about where the Mars rovers are going and what samples they're taking, what images they're collecting. And they're then contributing to interpreting um, that data in order to better understand the evolution of Mars. So fieldwork in the modern Earth sciences is incredibly diverse and our undergraduate degree programme aims to reflect this through the variety of trips that we'll take you on and the diversity of skills that we'll expose you to during those trips. You may have a number of questions about undergraduate fieldwork. The first might be about costs and I want to reassure you that the department covers the entire cost of the field trips for undergraduates. So we will pay for the transport getting you from Oxford to the destination. Whilst you're there we'll pay for your accommodation and food costs and then we'll bring you back again at the end of the class. You may also have concerns about the kit you need for fieldwork. Well the department will supply you with all the safety gear you need, so that includes a hard hat, high-vis jacket and goggles, and we'll also give you a basic kit for looking at rocks, including a hammer, a hand lens and your first notebook. We do expect students to provide their own boots, waterproofs and a rucksack, but we have negotiated deals with some suppliers to get good discounts, and for those that need financial assistance, then help is available through the university and the colleges. Fieldwork in the first year is all about learning the basics. It's about being introduced to field geology and to being introduced to the skills needed to make observations and measurements in the field. It's also about getting to know your cohort, a really important part and, and a unique aspect of the Earth Sciences course. We take you down to Pembrokeshire um, after the first few weeks of arriving in Oxford, uh, mainly with a view to getting you to know, make friends across colleges within Earth Sciences and also as an opportunity to start looking at rocks with your own eyes. You don't need any knowledge for this course, you just need your own eyes and a willingness to make observations. In addition to going to Pembrokeshire for a weekend, during the first year you'll also spend about a week on Arran in Scotland, studying a diversity of, of rock types and geological processes. Then in the summer term we make use of geology that's exposed in former quarries and rivers around Oxford and the Cotswolds. In the field classes in the second year, we continue the skills development that started in the first year. We also start to think about the geology of regions in a more complex way and start bringing in different data sets, different sites of observations and think about how to synthesise and integrate those into holistic interpretations. And this is all preparation for the independent mapping project which takes place at the end of the second year. 
Between the end of the second year and the beginning of the third year, our students undertake their independent summer mapping projects. This is an opportunity to spend four to six weeks making a geological map of a destination of their choosing. The students have to get themselves into small groups and then decide where they wish to go map in the world and the logistics associated with getting there and spending four to six weeks in that region. The students can choose anywhere in the world they like and they're given guidance by the department as to areas that might be suitable uh, for geological mapping and areas that might be logistically feasible. The department provides them with a budget, as do the colleges, and that funding is, is sufficient to support mapping projects throughout much of Europe and the UK. For some students, they have ambitions that will see them go to more exotic destinations. For those groups, additional challenges come in the form of raising the additional money that's required from charities and from other university bodies. Many of our graduates tell us that their mapping project was one of the highlights of their time in Oxford. It's not only an opportunity to determine precisely what sort of geology uh, you wish to study intensely for a period of time, but it's also an opportunity to develop soft skills in planning, in logistics, and in interpersonal relationships. And those skills are really useful to people in the future, almost irrespective of what career they choose. In the third year, the fieldwork program is at a much more advanced level. We start taking you to the cutting edge of geological fieldwork and beyond. Our field trip to Spain uh, allows a synthesis of, of a very complicated area that integrates lots of sorts of different data sets that you've been dealing with over the three years up to that point. And it's really about developing a, a fully holistic picture of a really complex geological region. By the fourth year, our students are becoming really quite specialised with niche interests within the earth sciences. And so the fourth year field classes give a range of options. For those that are interested in solid earth processes, such as earthquakes and volcanoes, then they go to Greece, where these things can be studied in detail, and we can learn a little bit more about geophysical, the application of geophysical techniques to the solid earth sciences. For those that are interested in climates, biology, and the interaction between the oceans and life, then the Bermuda trip gives an opportunity to see coral reefs, go into cave systems to learn about past climate archives and an opportunity to go on a vessel and partake in making um, oceanographic measurements. I hope this has given you a flavour of the reasons we do field work within the earth sciences, the types of places we go to and the types of things we study when we're there. If you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me or the earth sciences tutor at your college of choice. Um, or alternatively, you can contact our friendly team within the department.